it, this mental health issues could be anyone. It could be the golfers, it could be their neighbors, it could be their friends, it could be their family. We really want to be able to provide the best possible care for anybody so that they can manage mental illness in the best possible way and go on to live good and full lives, recovery, incorporating uh, what this incident might have meant in their life. So we really want to be able to provide the best care. So it, one in four, that's a lot of people. That could be your spouse, it could be your daughter, it could be your grandparent, your grandchild, your neighbor, your colleague at work, um, somebody that you went to school with. It really does touch everybody's life, every gender, every culture, um, every age group. We have children as young as five or six and we have adults as old as 95, 96. The, the, the problem has and the challenges have been not been around. Yeah. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the, the history behind KGH and uh, how you've been dealing with these challenges? Uh, mental health challenges have been around since the beginning of time. How we deal with them sort of shift and change over the decades. Um, we're really looking at recovery oriented, patient involved, family involved um, service, which is a little bit different than services in the past which were professional driven where the professionals are the experts. They still are the experts. So physicians know an awful lot about mental health and the brain and how it works and how medication works with that. But everybody has input because the person living with the mental illness, it's very much a chronic illness. They're going to have issues maybe now, maybe not again, but they're going to have to live with this. We really are we're focusing on working as a team together with the patient and their families. So that, that shift in delivery of care is really what we're focusing on at this point. It, uh, at KGH you have a very, uh, what I would call a lean uh, team in terms of your uh, executive staff and then working with the, the folks who are on the front line. We have nurses, psychiatrists, social workers, uh, occupational therapists, spiritual care workers, but we are really lean. The people have to be efficient, they have to work to their full scope of practice and we really have to work um, together. And that takes a lot of work. We've moved to a beautiful new facility. It's much bigger than it was. We have more patients than we had before. So we're really, and we have over half of our staff are new to psychiatry, transferring from other areas. So we really are working together as a team and that takes resources to build that team development to get all on the same page. Um, and really getting into KGH's model of care, which is patient and family centered teaching. Now, uh, a golf tournament involved with uh, this particular uh, charity and this particular focus for the charity. Um, the golf tournament's involved because you need to raise some funds and you need to raise funds for a specific uh, item. And could you tell us about that? We really, there's not in the budget anymore with all the downsizing uh, education funds. So people, uh, things change, research changes, we need uh, funding to bring those changes and make them meaningful to the staff here. So there is not really a good budget for education, um, so that's what we really want to use the funds for. Um,